Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at a countertop dishwasher by request to see if it really works. That's today's video. It was a few months ago I posted on my community tab asking people for suggestions for large kitchen appliances and this was the one they came up with. Well, not this model, but a countertop dishwasher. So after reading comments on Amazon, there was one feature I knew that I wanted and that was a countertop dishwasher that had a tank and not just the hookups for the sink because even though most people seem to have no problem with the sink hookups, there was a vocal minority out there who did not have compatibility with their sink. So they either had to get an adapter, buy another part, or some people even hired a plumber. So I didn't want to deal with that. So I wanted to make sure that I only had one that had a tank on it. And that narrowed my choices down a lot. And of those, I found the Novet, which is this model. This not only has a tank, but also sink hookups, so you can have it both ways. Ironically, it doesn't work with my sink, so I can't show you the sink hookup because it's not compatible with my sink. I'm guessing that it's compatible with most things, just not mine. But that's the exact reason I wanted a tank hookup so I wouldn't have to deal with that. So I've been using this for several weeks now. I'm actually about to wrap up my final test on the countertop dishwasher, but I wanted to go back and let you see the original use, the setup of it, and show you how that went. All right, here it is. I just pulled it out of the box. It's exactly 18 inches from top to bottom. It had barely cleared my cabinets, in fact, this this lid here would probably prevent it from going completely under the, the cabinet if I wanted to. But fortunately, I, I do need to put it next to the sink. It's uh, the sink's right there. So I made it work. I haven't even pulled anything out of here yet, so let's do that. I'm looking at their dishwasher features. This is where the water tank is. It's very nice. This, I believe, is a fruit basket. Fruit basket. A 1.8 liter pitcher. A rather small cutlery basket. That's, uh, that's pretty small. Doesn't mean it won't work, though. Couple of hoses. And this is a storage rack, so you can kind of have a double decker of, uh, of cups. They say you can use liquid powder or pods, but if you put a pod in there, it's probably just gonna flop out, I would imagine. There are sprayer arms in the top and the bottom. There's a filter system down here as well. On the front, there's an LED control panel, which I'll have to show you when I turn the actual unit on. First thing you have to do is connect the drain hose to the unit itself. On the back of the unit, you have the inlet and the outlet. I'm not using the inlet because I'm actually using the water tank, so I'm just gonna hook up the hose to the outlet. And this will drain into the sink. So before I get too crazy, I want to make sure it works. So I'm just going to put a couple plates in there. I pulled these out of my dishwasher. They're actually dirty plates. I'm going to put them in there, run through one cycle to make sure it works before I push it too hard. So let me put some plates in here, follow the instructions and get it going. Wait, what? Their instruction shows, shows the plates leaning backward. I'm not, I'm not getting that. No, it's not leaning backward. I guess that one kind of is. Maybe this is set up for smaller plates. All right, well, I'm just gonna do like this. Close enough. I'm not sure I'm gonna get four as close together as they do, but they're in there. Let's see how it goes. Load the dishwasher. Well, it's partially loaded. Add detergent. Detergent is added. Now I'm supposed to add water to the tank, which is approximately three of these. The instructions say to add water and then plug it in, but the Instructions for adding water say it's going to beep when it's full, but how can it beep when it's not plugged in? Guess I'll plug it in first. Oh, we have power. We have power. It's kind of doing something. Let me add three pictures of this. It's a little difficult to not spill some water when you're pouring it from, from so high up. Aha. It, it did beep when it was full and it, there was a little bit left, so it did beep when it was full. Kind of wipe that off a little bit. Press and hold for three seconds. Whoa, very nice, very nice. We have a full display here. All right, I guess I can close this now. Ooh, nice light in there. Hey, I kind of like that light. It's very moody. So we have eco, baby care, fruit. We're gonna go normal. Oh, there goes the water. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, yeah. It looks like a full cycle is going to take 
a total of 69 minutes. We're warming into it. So 68 minutes left. 69 minutes. That's a lot for four plates. I will work on getting more. Oh, the light went out. I'll work on getting more stuff in there once I get used to it. But I'm going to let this go and see how it turns out. I would say volume wise, it's not too loud. It's not offensively loud. It's not as quiet as my, my normal dishwasher, but it's certainly acceptable. with one minute left, draining for a second time now. Whoa, steam came out. Plates are warm. Oh, it looks very dry, very clean, very clean. Put it back in there and put dry mode. Here we go, 60 minute dry cycle. Let's open it up and see how it looks. Let's pull one of these out of here. It looks perfectly clean and dry. Now that I've gone through the cycle one time, let's put it to a real test. First test is out of the way, it's time for take two. What I want to do for this one is to kind of load it up with actual dirty dishes. Now one thing I was going to show you, I'll put this on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. They have all the plates, and they say 10 inch plates, in the front, and the silverware in the back. They have the, the plates here, the silverware basket back there. But I couldn't, I couldn't get it to fit in that configuration yesterday. I had three slots for plates up here, four in the back, one, two, three, four. So I moved the silverware basket over here. But I was looking on Amazon at people that were viewing this and they seem to have all kinds of different configurations. So I don't think that that really matters as much. I'm just gonna try to load it up as much as I can and see how well it does with another full wash. I was happy yesterday. Let's see how it does, but that was only four plates. So let's see how it does with a full load of dishes. Let's try a few cups. Something in the bottom of that one. Will it fit up there? Well, I guess maybe not. I thought I could fit full-size cups up there, but... So that cup's gonna have to go on the bottom. Coffee mug. There's some coffee on the side of that. Will that fit up there? Nope. It doesn't seem like any of the cups that I have are actually gonna fit up there, so it... This is gonna be for a really small cup. They show three cups up there. I don't have any cups that small. And that's fine, I can just put this out of the way. I'm not sure what's on there, but it's going in. Yeah, pretty dirty. All right, I got four plates. I still got room. I still got some room. I also need to do the silverware. That's, that's pretty small though. Let's see what we can do with that. The larger slots are okay. These small ones seem kind of not too useful. I guess you could always just take that off if you had to. I loaded up pretty much. Some of these smaller slots don't seem very useful because the, the bottom of my silverware is wider, so I, I couldn't use all the slots, but that's gonna depend on your silverware, I guess. I still got a little bit of room. Let me see if we can find some more. If I can fit a bowl in there. I did fit a bowl in there. Well, that might be good. All right, I think we're good for now. And, and we're off. And don't forget to put that in the sink, otherwise you might be uh, dealing with some dirty water on your countertops. Also, you can hit the dry button before the cycle's over so it can go right into the dry cycle, which I've done. 69 minutes. Now these are all legitimately dirty dishes that were used. They weren't fake dirty, they're real dirty. There we go, woo! I do like the fact that you can look in there with the window. A lot of these countertop dishwashers don't have that. That's one of the reasons I like this one because it, it's just kind of fun to look at it. So check back later and see how it goes. Let's take a look and see how the, how the dishes came out. All right, that one looks good. All right, this one had a bunch of stuff caked on it. Let's see. Oh, it looks, looks great. This one looks fine. It looks pretty clean to me. Clean, clean. Coffee mug, no coffee in there. Well, the bottom of the cup came out pretty good. This bowl looks perfect. My small collection of silverware. I think all the silverware looks pretty good too. What do you guys think? All right, well, I think we're on, a, we're on a roll. We got more tests to do, but so far we're 2-0. Oh. 
I also wanted to point out that the speed and eco mode are very similar. They both have three cycles. The eco mode runs a little longer and a little hotter. I found the speed mode has worked quite well. In fact, here's a clip of me using the speed mode. I've got it loaded up again. Now the first two cycles I ran just a normal mode. Now I'm going to try the speed cycle, which is only 29 minutes. So I'll see how well it cleans compared to the normal cycle. And we're off. Let's see how we did in the short wash here. Plate number one, looking good. Perfect. Looking good. No wine residue, that's good. No coffee stains. Silverware looks good. So really the short wash at only a half an hour was about as good as the full wash. That is even faster. One more thing that bodes well for the Novet dishwasher. I should point out that I contacted the company and they did say that the configuration uh, shown in the manual has changed and that the way I was doing it was actually the proper way of doing it. So I'm kind of glad I verified that I was actually not crazy and that's how it's supposed to be set up. So before I get to my final test, which may or may not even be fair, I want to talk about the pros and cons that I've seen after several weeks of use. The pros is that the Novet dishwasher works about as well as my regular dishwasher. When I pull them out of there, they are just like I'm pulling them out of a full-size dishwasher. Everything has been cleaned. I've been, I'm not sure what my expectations were, but I'm actually a little bit surprised that it works that well. As far as the cons go, even max capacity, the number of dishes that I can fit in there is not a lot, and I could probably wash them by hand in 10, 15 minutes. So, I mean, it can take 30 to 60 minutes to wash, another hour to dry. For a small load of dishes, I mean, I can understand that people out there would still want something like that. It's really going to depend on your situation whether this works for you or not. Before I wrap up this video, I want to get to a more rigorous test and see how it actually works versus my full-size dishwasher. Let's move to the counter and get a few dishes set up. All right, so what I'm going to do is dirty all these dishes with the exact same thing. Put one set in my dishwasher, one set in the countertop dishwasher, but what I'm going to do is let them sit for 24 hours first. So let's get started. How about some egg yolk? Mmm, yummy. Some yummy, delicious honey. This would not be complete without a little bit of taco sauce. Mmm, mmm. All right, the plates are complete. A little bit of oatmeal. Welch's grape jelly. I'd say the bowls look good. Top it off a little Merlot. I don't want to waste too much of this. So I just want to pour a little bit in the bottom, swirl it around. I think we are done. Let me take a look at what we got here. All right, there we go. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a little nightcap all together. I'm going to let this sit 24 hours. Come back tomorrow and load them up. I should also point out this is not a fair test because the instructions clearly state to rinse off any chunks. I just want to see how extreme I can get before I can have the dishwasher not perform well because it's performed well in normal dishes. I would not say this is normal. It's almost 11 a.m. Tomorrow I'll come back around the same time, put it in the dishwasher, and see how it goes. All right, almost 24 hours later. Let's take a look. Ooh, wow, that is caked on there. This is going to be ugly. And not, not too bad in the wine glass. I think to be fair, I'm going to scrape the biggest chunks out of that oatmeal. I mean, you're not really supposed to put that much food in there anyways. Let me, let me get rid of that. I'll leave the residue, but get rid of the big chunks. I'm just going to kind of scrape it off here. Oh, that's hard as a rock. That's like glue. It is not moving. I literally need to pry it out of here. I'm, I'm chiseling it. The jelly is definitely, it's still soft-ish, but it's, it's going to be kind of a problem. But I don't know if even my main dishwasher is going to make a dent on this. This is bad. All right, let's load it up. I have a bad feeling about this one on, in both cases. I have a bad feeling about this one too. This one I think will come out pretty good. Ooh. All right, so that one's, that one's ready to go. Now for the big boy here. I'm gonna try to put these both facing down just like I did in the other one. All right, main dishwasher. It's a battle for the ages. It should be interesting to see how they compare. I'm not expecting this one to do better than the full-size dishwasher. I don't even know if either one's gonna get that oatmeal off. We shall see. All right, the unfair test is over. I'm gonna open it up and see how they look. I'm a little bit excited, a little bit nervous to see how this turned out. So uh, no point in delaying, let's check it out. Let's first see the full-size dishwasher. Okay, oh, steam. All right, this plate looks 
Beautiful. Look at that. Nothing on there. Perfect. See the wine glass? Perfect. Now for the bowl. This is what I was really curious about. Oh, wow. My dishwasher's good. A very impressive showing from the full-size dishwasher, but that's not the point of this review. Let's see what the Novet did. All right, in the same order, the plate. Well, look at this. I don't see anything on the plate at all. Got everything out. Very nice. Wine glass, beautiful. Here we go for the big reveal. And whoa, I think it did better than I expected. I'd say it passed the flying colors. All right, well, I'm very impressed by this last test. I wasn't gonna do it because I thought it was so unfair, but it ended up passing with flying colors anyways. Very happy with the final test. I'm actually glad I did it. Before I wrap it up, the only other cons I can really think of is that the shelf doesn't seem very useful. I couldn't fit a lot of things on there. I could, actually, I couldn't fit anything on there. And then it is quite easy to spill when you're adding water to it. Both minor points. I think overall, this is an impressive machine. I had kind of low expectations and it certainly exceeded that. So you can debate whether a countertop dishwasher is necessary or not, but if you're in the market for one, I can tell you this Novet, based on the couple weeks I've used it, is probably a good choice. If you've used a countertop dishwasher, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.